North Africans, are they indigenous or are they invaders? Are they Amasek or are they nothing but Arab Islamic conquerors of black Berber lands? You see, there's a lot of debate going on and a lot of people like to talk about the dark-skinned Berber. But nobody likes to talk to the so-called dark-skinned Berber or Felata or Tuareg or Tubu. Myself and Felata Fulani, we are some of the indigenous nomadic people of North Africa and the Levant. Let's watch a couple of clips. It's not, a but it's, it's tribe not is called al It's not an African language. It doesn't have, <laughs> Arabic does not have any foundation <laughs> in any African language. It doesn't at all. And, 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 so and, and, that, wait, wait, that's how you know Arabic so doesn't have it any? doesn't have foundation within a native African language. It doesn't. That's partly true, but partly not true. If you mean by modern standard Arabic, what they speak in the Middle East today, that is quite far away from African languages. But classical Arabic or Arabia um, is, is actually, you can say, an indigenous African language in, in terms of the nomadic Arabic tribes who are dark-skinned. And if you look at how, for example, Fula people speak classical Arabic, the one that you have in the Quran and Hadith, it is it is it is quite African, and it's rooted. It's connected also to other other African languages, such as Ge'ez from Ethiopia. It's 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 partly true, but it is it is an exaggeration. Zaha, so how is how, 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 how so? Thank you. So how is North ah, African not yes African? No. Yes yes no. No. Because you are invaders, dude. You are from you are you are Turk Aryan like. Bro, you are not indigenous Libyan. You, you can play this game with people who are not indigenous, Felatiyin, but you cannot play these games with people who are indigenous. Wherever I go in the Middle East, people think I am from Morocco or something like this. Our people are originally, you, you, are, you are just an Arab or this modern Arab who come, take land, oh, we are indigenous, we are, we are I'm say, get, get out, you know. Who do, who do you think you are? Like, honestly, who do you think you are? Who do you think you're fooling? Uh, let's watch another clip. I want to answer, you know? answer, answer the question. I want to answer the question. I was explaining to the gentleman about schools of thought in Pan-Africanism. I said, there are some schools of thought that believe that the sub-Saharan, quote-unquote, Africa, and... and, and um, There's Africa, no such thing. Um, should there is no such thing as a sub-Saharan Africa. That's just colonial Western bullshit. But, all right, let's continue as one body as it is right about now there are there's another school in pan-africanism which i come from Hi there. Which, which says okay. which says here yeah which says that those who dominate in north africa today are invaders yeah and north africa is a part of the continent and the indigenous people of that of the of not necessarily the continent though this continentalism is also a um, a um, it's also a western concept to think about africa as a continent but 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 yes, the people who dominate there are not uh, indigenous people at all. That land, yeah, have the rights to that land. Yes, not the people that we do. Dominate it. There is no difference to, in this scenario to what is going on in South Africa today. We are in our history, yeah. Have... Uh, more, more or less correct. Yeah, you know, you 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 got it right. That's the truth. That's the truth. The 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 dark skinned Berber, uh, my people and other people like Tuareg, we are pushed into the desert pushed into the Sahel, pushed into the worst possible areas where human beings can live. And these white people, who they are not even Arabs. I think many of them are European settlers, actually, during colonial times. They take the coastal areas. They take the Mediterranean Sea and push all dark-skinned people out into the desert, uh, into Sahel. And then our nomads invade N Nigeria and Ghana and these kinds of areas. So, same with Baghara and other nomads. Uh, it's true. It, it, what he's saying is true. Uh, a precedent of people invading, settling, and then trying to co-opt identity. Yeah? Yep. The white people that are in South Africa um, and Zimbabwe, Southern Africa in general, yeah, never identified as African until they are not African. there was a strategic benefit in it. Yeah? Just course. like many of the people in North Africa today. Generally speaking, they don't define themselves as African until... Because they are not African. They are not Berber. They are not uh, from the Rif. They are not uh, the dark-skinned nomad. They are not Moor. Uh, they, are, they are not Felatin. They are not Tuareg. They are none of that. They, that's why. Because it's not them.
And everyone in North African Middle East know who the real Arabs are. They are dark skin. Everyone know who the Berber are. They are dark skinned people. And Berber is like a derogatory term. They are not it. Some of them may be mixed. But you know, <laughs> you, you, cannot, you cannot take a lion and say the lion is in reality uh, a bear. It just looks different. It's, it's nonsense, guys. They are gaslighting you. Strategic benefit. In it. Oh, right? no, so I'm there saying, you go. So I'm saying, true. I'm true. saying, I am saying, the, the, the African identity, the Pan African movement comes about principally around the agenda, the issues pertaining to black African people who were invaded, co colonized. In but Berber or Fula or, you know, Tuareg don't identify as black, meaning, you know, either grow so to speak in terms of racial theory or you know the people of west africa who were you know enslaved it doesn't identify as that enslavement is not a part of our history uh so the black may not uh, be an appropriate identity uh they may be treated as as you know dark skin people or be bundled together as black by others who are ignorant, but they, they wouldn't see themselves as that. They would see themselves as Muslims and nomads. Um, yeah. Slave. So was North yeah. Africa. North Africa was colonized a lot longer than Sub-Saharan Africa. Oh my gosh. And there was a That's the death toll sense. was higher in North Africa than Sub-Saharan Africa. This guy. When it came to colonialism. This guy. Man, shut the fuck up. You made, you made these statements. Do you know how many hey, uh, shut up, you. Shut up. Just be silent. Well, what are you? You are you're from Algeria. My people are in Algeria. We have nomadic communities in Algeria. We are the indigenous Algerians. What the hell are you talking? Shut the f up, man. Guys, you just okay. condemn no, the system. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't condemn no system. You condemn it. Stop talking over each other. We're not going to have a This is what I'm trying to say. I'm, 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 I'm not in that. It's know. rude. It's arrogant. It is stealing other people's history. It's just, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is a is a is an act of kufr. To, to slander other people's lineages. You, you're standing there, Mr. Algerian. You know very well who the dark-skinned Berber are. Don't stand there in front of these people who come from the diaspora and are ignorant of the history and pretend like you don't know that the Felata and the Tuareg are in Algeria and all the indigenous Algerians or Tasselin Adjir, the cave paintings in, in Algeria. Let's, let's look at them, for example. I'll stand here. And, uh, you know... Uh -huh. Cave painting, southern Algeria. Hmm? These are these are white people. Eh? Very, very white people. You, you see, we have the same cows today. My people who are still in southern Algeria, we have the same cows. Bororo, big horns. We have the same ceremonies you see here in 6000 BC. Cave paintings in, 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 in uh, southern Algeria. I think probably the Tuareg may have similar ceremonies also. Don't stand here and pretend like you don't know. It's offensive and it's an act of kufr. And we definitely as a people in right of Sharia, eye for an eye and tooth for tooth, we have the right to defend ourselves against this kind of disrespect and kufr and, and just slandering and lying about history. There's nothing for you to be passionate about. We know who you are. Instead of trying to pinpoint who exactly is part of that movement, was you here from the beginning of the conversation? So you're not in a position to that No, no, no. Now there's a random white guy who is interfering into stuff that he doesn't want to say. Look, look, but. Like this. Everyone likes to talk about us, but nobody likes to call us. Oh, this is the reality. What you call North Africa, number one, is not a separate region from the Middle East. North Africa and the Middle East were green thousands of years ago. They were green. You had lions, you had giraffes, antelopes. There wasn't a large Sahara desert. Sahara means desert. Sahara has grown 10% the last 100 years. So Sahara was significantly smaller. The people in North Africa, Middle East, were dark-skinned people. They are the nomadic people that you see uh, here. The, the Tubu, the Felata, the Sahrawi, 
um, the the people they call Haratin, uh, the Tuareg. Uh, there, there are so many names, uh, Beja, uh, Bagara, Shua, different kinds of people, but they are from the ancient land of Libya, or the land of Fut, the Fulase Futa. So you have the Futa Toro, Futa Jalo. These are, these are extensions of Libya, where the Fula Mujahideen pushed Islam further and further into West Africa. A lot of West Africans don't like that. Well, I guess I'm sorry. But, you know, what, what can I say? The nomads are from the land of Libya, or Futa. They are dark-skinned people. Now, when it comes to the white, white people that you call Berber, uh, many, many, the Berber can have a little bit different history. And by the way, everyone was called a Berber by the Roman or more. These are dark skinned people. The white Berber, some of them are Roman descendants. Some of them are Vandal descendants. Uh, these are 2,000 years ago, 1,500 years ago. So they have lived a long time in different communities in Africa. For example, Atlas Mountains or the Kabyl people. They have indigenized, they have learned culture, customs, their, their face paintings that our people have, they play our instruments, they have got integrated. They are a kind of an African people in, in, in their own right, if, if you want to use that word. These people are usually oppressed. Um, and some of them are descendants of the Burberry slave trade also. Um, when it comes to these people you see on the video, they are the Arabs. But they are not actually Arabs. They are Turk Aryans. So the Umayyads pushed Islam, 780. Umayyads are dark-skinned Arabs from Sidna Usman. Uh, if you look at people in Yemen, you will see how they look like. They, they, so, so the dark-skinned Arabs came here and pushed Islam here to these people, but the people look the same, so they would have intermarried and produced these lineages, you know, son of Falat, Uqba ibn Yasiru, and that's where the Falata draw their lineage, for example. Some Ber Berber tribes resisted, some uh, 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 accepted Islam. Uh, some of the Fulani accepted Islam and intermarried with the Umayyads. Others went down the desert and they are the Wudabe. They are called Wudabe, but they are Fulani. They, they want to keep their pure culture. The Tuareg also. The Tuareg is, is like a... It means those who abandon in Arabic. It comes from Ta... Raqqa... Or, or something like that. Uh, those who abandon. So the Tuareg likely even draw there, and some say there is a derivation from a, a, a region in Libya that they come from. That's also possible. But the Tuareg are a collection of the different black Berber who may have resisted Islam and wanted to keep their ancient ways. Some of them would be Semites, some of them would be Hamites, and they could have been Felata, they could have been these other people. So they went also across the desert to keep their ancient way. Similar with other Berber tribes are struggling to keep their languages away from Arabism and Arabization. So when the Umayyads came and pushed Islam, that, that is, is black. Yes, the Romans had conquered part of what they call Mauritania. There could have been Romans there, you know, white people and so on in these different communities and vandals and so on. But the majority would have been dark skinned. What happened is the Abbasid revolution, which are Aryans. And when the Abbasids started taking over Islam and institutionalizing an Islamic caliphate, this old Islam of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the Sufis follow. That's also why you see an older form of Islam on that, this channel, because we are descendants of the Umayyads. We have an older form of Islam than this uh, Abbasid time Islam. That is the white Arabs. So the Abbasids are the white Arabs. They are actually people from, if you look uh, geographically, e northeastern Iran. So the north of Iraq, northeastern Iran, they, they, are, they are Turkic people. They are maybe Kurdish people. They may be, uh, you know, different Aryan people. Um, and then you had the Mongol invasions of the Abbasid Caliphate, where they, the Mongols slaughtered like two million people in Baghdad. That's more Turkish admixture. And then you had the Ottoman, even more Turk. So they are essentially Turkic people or Caucasian people or from Central Asian people, these white Arabs. 
And they have a Mon Mongol Turkic attitude that we are conquerors and you are nothing. They they carry that 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 bloodline from their ancestors, but they are Turk Aryans. Um, so that's the reality of what's going on. Yes, there is this Turk Aryan white quote unquote Arab ruling class in North Africa and the Middle East. They don't like dark skinned people because we are the original and they are not the original. And we are known in North Africa and Middle East to be the original and they are not. Uh, but that's changing. Alhamdulillah. Um, hope this video was helpful. Leave comments in the sections below. Uh, but keep a, a civilized and polite tone. Assalamu alaikum.